hello everyone so today we are going to work on this so now the character can pick up uh, one of the items like this and if I go to here and if I press use you can see character takes that item from the quick access menu into the hand so I'm gonna work on this part today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so at the moment uh, if I pick up one of these items and go to the quick access menu and if I press E nothing happens that's because I still haven't implemented how to use a certain item from the quick access menu right so that's what I want to do today so first uh, I need to do this so if I have opened the quick access menu still my character inputs are working so if that happens let's say for example if I press E here I should be able to pick up that item and also if I press uh, E when I have some uh, some of the items here we need to give the priority to this uh, to take the item from the quick access menu instead over uh, the input action in the world so so what I'm planning to do is when I open the quick access menu I I should disable inputs for the character that's what I am planning to do then I can implement picking up or getting an item from the quick access menu into the hand so later on maybe when I open the quick access menu I can do something like uh, as in last of us uh, open up the bag or get the bag to the hand so and going through items I can play some animation like that but for now let's just disable the inputs right so let me open my player character here so when I open the quick access menu when I press one of the buttons relevant to the opening of the quick access menu what I'm doing is calling this quick access option in BPI through BPI HUD so that means it is implemented in the HUD blueprint here so here I have quick access HUD so here when I open <coughs> the quick access menu I could just get a reference like this get player character and called disable inputs disable input using the player controller like this but the problem is this with this approach is I am again using this input ac uh, action quick access up left down these things uh, this in these inputs to select items and if I disable once I open up one of the once I bring up the quick access menu I will not be able to select any other items other than the initial one so I think it would be better if I move this quick access part into the player controller so let me cut this and here I'm using code like me player control in the event graph let me paste right see uh, now we don't have the quick access related menu items here uh, not menu item input actions here okay uh, but let me quickly check if it is still working yeah they are working and see now even if I move the mouse character is not looking up or down that's better right so the next part is mm -hmm. let me cut this part and 
in the player controller do I have interface yes VBI player controller here I add a function total player character input and here I'll add the boolean enable if it is true the inputs will be enable otherwise disabled right now I'll implement this function here toggle player character input And here let's have a branch and get this part. If it is false, this part I cut from the BPI hard. If it is false, disable inputs. If it is true, get player character enable input. in this player control right toggle input okay now we can use this to enable and disable input player inputs so first I can disable input when I initialize quick access let's go to the quick access widget here set selected direction where do I call this inside here no in the heart oh, yeah. you need quick access and call set selected direction here uh, I select and add the quick access item uh, uh, menu to the viewport and after 5 seconds I automatically remove it here I have added a retriggerable delay so before uh, 5 seconds before 5 seconds is spent uh, if I get another call here this trigger will be reset so here let me get the uh, controller and call disable sorry toggle player character input let me disable the inputs like this and then after the delay when I remove the quick access menu from the viewport I'll enable player inputs for the player character now if I bring up the quick access menu the player inputs are not working if I leave it for 5 seconds and when it is removed player inputs are working again all right so yeah and earlier uh, when we work on the inventory menu we didn't need it such a mechanism because here you can see I am anyway changing the input mode to UI because I can change, select these items with the mouse and keyboard also so we didn't need it that there but now that with the quick access we have to use it so that's why I had to implement this okay now after this part I'm gonna implement uh, oh, let me pick up one of the items head back right now we have the health pack so next I'm gonna show you how to use these items where after bringing up the quick access if I press E the character should use this item okay now after bringing up 
the quick access main I get these T buttons it use F to swap so E using part that's what I want to implement now so for that E let me go to the project settings and input here E is uh, the key assigned for interact input action so in the quick access widget here we can't use input actions so we need some event here to call when player press E after selecting one of the items in the quick access menu so here I'll define a custom event use and just for now I'll add a print just saying using whatever the selected item name so get the selected item name no uh, here we have item detail item data split this break this hide all and leave only the name and we can just print it using whatever the item we have here mm, but what if we don't have a selected item uh, say if i am trying to select item select an item but i don't have such an item there i set the selected item here Uh, in the selected item I can get the visibility if it is not visible that means we don't have a valid item even if it is not visible we will have a valid uh, may we may have a valid reference uh, because I am already creating one so yeah here visibility and do a switch here it is visible we can just print using this particular item name and after that we can actually close the quick access menu so here I'll create another custom event close quick access So I'll mm. this part should belong to closing. Okay. So here I can call close quick access. Right. So now when and how do we call this use custom event when we press the interact button, interact input when we when the widgets don't support input actions. So in the code like me heart here. I'll define using the BPI hard low print interface I'll define a function called use now let's implement it here oh use here from BPI hut and here 
if we have open the quick access menu first i need to check if we have a valid quick access menu if yes if this is in viewport is in viewport that means we have already opened the quick access menu in that case i can call use in the widget quick access right now we can call this function from the player controller without thinking of anything so because hard is already taken care of checking if the quick access menu is open things like that right now let's go to the player controller if you don't remember this is the player controller class that i am using and here in the previous episode i disabled the inputs of the player character because i don't want the character to have any input such as movements uh, when i open up the quick access menu so that's why i have to implement it through the player controller here interact action event so we can get a get hard and call use through vpi hard Think it would be better if we change this into use UI. No, that doesn't make sense. Let's say call use. Yeah, that's it. Call use. Okay. Right. Now shall we test? Let me go ahead and pick up. Oh, use function not working. Yeah, I know the reason. The reason is here. Yeah, I have enabled consume input. We shouldn't enable that here. If I enable that, uh, anywhere else, interact event will not be, will not work. Right now I have collected an rock. So if I press E here, if everything is working, I should get in the top left corner uh, using a stone. And it didn't. Right. Now let's see what. Uh, also to avoid confusion, I'll change this to use site well actually I tested again and it is working see I get the message using a stone I didn't really do any changes uh, when I haven't selected any valid items I don't get it but when I have selected the stone I get use a stone but still nothing happens because Mm. Oh wait, but I am supposed to close the widget. And when once I use an item, I don't think we need to have this delay. It should be okay if we instantly close the widget. So let me cut this retriggerable delay. This is only where required. Uh, to automatically close so here close quick access right now let me collect the rock and if I press C 
it is closed okay so how to implement what happens when we try to use this tool okay and now in the quick access menu for selected data here all I have is to represent an object all I have is this uh, item data so if I where is item data here struct inventory item this is the item data here i have name description image item type those things so here let me add another variable item class and this should be after and after class reference right now when we pick up items let me go to an, an example item let's say this health pack here where do we collect it all right here when we collect what we do is we add it to the inventory add to the inventory players inventory and in the inventory item mm -hmm. Let's see. here we have to uh, set this item class and i think we can do that in the construction screen get inventory item set members in the inventory item i only need to change the item class self can we get the class from it no the class yeah okay right and just to make sure if this part is working when i try to use one of the items instead of uh, getting the name let me display the item class name so that we can be sure that reference setting part is working <coughs> using a sorry bottle c all right so that part is working right now in the player character let me go to the main class here we have bpi character here i'll add the function use no equip item here as a input parameter i'll give inventory item structure I'll call it item data right now in the player class this one actually we can implement it in the main class as well no problem with that here i'll implement um, equip item so here we get the item data let me break this and i'll read the item class using this let's spawn actor from class oh 
always spawning no collisions spawn transform let's set it like this and uh, after that when it is spawned I'll attach actor component so I'm gonna attach this to the hand of the character Do I have any sockets? No, no special sockets, so I'll just attach this to hand R. Location rule snap to target, rotation rule snap to target, scale keep world. Right. Okay. Now let's call this equip item from quick access menu widget. Get the character. the item data I'm gonna give the item data of the selected item right let me save first let me collect the store go here press E see now there is a stone in hand it doesn't look good but that function is working so now we can fine tune this and I already have this inspect montage and this is already playing in the upper body so let me just for now yeah let me just play that animation here play montage The animation I use that animation this is just a temporary thing because so we will need a much detailed uh, we will need to work on this in detail because we gonna have to like functions to like throw and also if another montage is called while I have some item in the hand this uh, montage will be interrupted and we have to play it again or do some other alternative for that so yeah, for now I'm just gonna play this and see how it looks. <coughs> right, stone collected, use it. Now see, it is in the hand <laughs> and it doesn't look good. Oh, but I remember these items are going okay into the hand. So we are to be attached them. object attached to hand or so oh we do have a socket oh, I didn't saw that let's try that yeah now it's it looks somewhat fine not perfect but looks good enough all right so see now if i try to move the character just keeps it in the hand like this okay so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and uh, this part is not finished yet we need to improve this a lot uh, but i'm gonna stop it for today here 
okay so thanks for watching and as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye